to do with uh, the stopping of energy supply to Gaza. Now we are given to understand that the Israeli energy minister has said that electricity, fuel and other resources will not be allowed to return to Gaza until Israeli hostages are released by the Hamas. So that's a clear warning. This after that statement was launched by uh, the Israeli ministry that all sorts of supplies to Gaza are going to be stopped. And they are sticking by that argument. They are saying until there is a release of all the hostages that still continue to be held by uh, the Hamas, there is no restoration of fuel or electricity supplies to Gaza. Abhishek, that's a clear warning that uh, Israel is standing by. Okay, we seem to have lost that link with Abhishek. Now, remember two developments that have happened. Uh, the U.S. Secretary of State... Anthony Blinken is currently in Israel. He's now going to be meeting with uh, his Israeli counterparts, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. There is a concerted effort uh, by uh, U.S. to constantly have Israel's back. In fact, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has said that in as many words uh, before leaving for his trip to Israel. At the same time, they have taken very strong note of uh, the humanitarian crisis that uh, has erupted because of this war and also how the Hamas militants have inflicted a huge amount of violence in Israel. There have been confirmed reports now of children also who have been killed at the hands of Hamas. Earlier those reports were not really confirmed but now there is a confirmed case and this really makes things worse. Now Hamas targets uh, in southern Israel have in fact led to a major missile attack as families in Israel have faced the grief and horror of the deaths and kidnapping of the loved ones.